In this video, you'll see how to offer sub-accounts under one membership using the MemberPress Corporate Accounts add-on. There are many different uses for this add-on. It could be to sell to businesses needing memberships that allow them to sign up their employees and manage their own sub-accounts. Or it could be for a parent who needs their children to have accounts associated with their membership. So, using this add-on, you as a site admin would have a membership on your site with corporate accounts enabled. A business or individual would have a subscription to that membership. I'll refer to them as parent accounts or parent users in this video. And the parent users could offer many different sub-accounts, which users can be added to for free. Again, a business that wants to give site access to multiple employees would be a great use case for this. So to get started, for my WordPress dashboard, I'll go to MemberPress and Add-ons. Then I'll find Corporate Accounts. I'll click Install Add-on. Once it's activated, I'll go to MemberPress and Memberships to show you how I have my membership set up. You could create a new membership and name it Corporate as an example and go through the steps I'm about to show you. You don't have to have your memberships pre-made before installing the add-on. But for my sample site, I have my regular memberships, Basic and Pro, and two corporate memberships, Corporate Basic and Corporate Pro. I see here that my regular Pro membership is $50 a month. So I'll click on my Corporate Pro membership now. Then I'll scroll down here to Membership Options and click the Advanced tab. Then I'll click to enable the checkbox next to Subscribers to this membership or Corporate Accounts. Then, you can enter a number of max subaccounts you want to allow with this membership. I'll set mine to 50. Now, I'll enter some membership terms. Since my pro membership is $50, and I'm going to allow 50 memberships with a corporate pro subscription, I'll charge them $2,000 a month. I'll set that here, and then I'll make this a monthly subscription. So now, I'll go ahead and save this membership. Now, if I go to MemberPress and Groups, you can see that I have two groups created as well, one for my regular memberships and one for my corporate memberships. I'll click my corporate group, then I'll open the group pricing page in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. Then I'll purchase a corporate pro membership as a test user. So I'll go ahead and do that with some fake testing data. Once that's done, I'll come up here to Members Only and Account. This will take me to my MemberPress account page. If you're not familiar with it, see our knowledge base for more information about the account page in MemberPress. It's the page where your members can see information about their account, manage their subscriptions, and more. And as the test user, if I go to the Subscriptions tab, you can see the Corporate Pro Membership and this link added here for subaccounts. I'll click on Subaccounts. And now I can add or remove subaccounts. The parent user for this membership could come in here and add their subaccounts manually. They just click Add Subaccount and enter their information here. But especially with 50 subaccounts, this could get pretty time consuming. So another option for this parent test user to get their user signed up would be to come here to Sign Up URL, copy this here, and share the link with employees or whoever they want to sign up. If it's a business, they could send out a mass email to their employees telling them to use the link to set up their account for free on the site, for example. Now, I'll go ahead and add a subaccount. Subaccount1 at email.com. Then I'll check this box here, which will send my welcome email to the user that I'm adding. It's generally a good idea to check this box when manually adding a user here. I'll click to add the subaccount. And once it's saved, you can see a table here that lists all the subaccounts that are currently active under this corporate account. And if you're sending out this link here, once someone signs themselves up, they'll appear in this table as well. And here you see an option to export subaccounts. This will export your list as a CSV file that looks like this. Also, if you have the MemberPress importer add-on enabled by going to MemberPress, add-ons, and enabling it, You'll see this option here to import subaccounts through a CSV file. So, say a corporation doesn't want their employees to sign themselves up, or already has a list of employees they want to have accounts, they could format a CSV file with all their employees' information and upload it. And you see some options here to send a password reset link and welcome email to users imported from a CSV file. So, to show you this real quick, I have a CSV file here formatted with some users. 
See our Knowledge Base page on Corporate Accounts for a sample CSV file to reference for formatting, which is actually this CSV file here. So I'll click Choose File, select my CSV file, and upload it. Here you can see the import was successful. And you'll see all the users in my CSV file added as subaccounts. Now, someone with a corporate membership can also upgrade or downgrade their plan if you have that capability enabled on your group. So, here on the Subscriptions tab, I'll click Change Plan as the Test Parent User. And here you can see that I can downgrade to my Corporate Basic Plan. If I had this test user sign up for a Corporate Basic Plan originally, for example, I could upgrade to my Corporate Pro Plan. Since Corporate Pro has more subaccounts that are allowed, this test user would get 30 extra subaccounts since my Corporate Basic membership only allows for 20. But things work a bit different if they downgrade to a plan that allows for less subaccounts. So I'll select my Corporate Basic plan and go through the process to downgrade. Then, once that's done, I'll go back to my account page, the Subscriptions tab, and here I see the test user's Corporate Pro plan that's not active, and the Corporate Basic plan is active. And if I click Subaccounts, you can see that I now only have 20 accounts to use. Now, just as a hypothetical, if you had the Corporate Pro plan originally and used up all 50 subaccounts, then downgraded to the Basic plan with only 20, all of your subaccounts would still be intact and transferred over, you just wouldn't be able to add any more. Okay, so now that we've seen what this looks like as someone who's purchased my corporate membership as a parent user, I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard as my site admin to show you what this looks like to you as a site admin or owner. If I go to MemberPress and Subscriptions, you can see here there's a subscription for the test user's corporate account. And if I click on the username here and scroll down to Corporate Accounts, you can see here the user is using this corporate account here as active and see the number of subaccounts a user has set up. As the site admin, you can also add and import for this user. And you can also click Manage here to see the same screen that the parent user sees to be able to remove subaccounts, export a CSV, and get the signup link. Everything that the corporate account membership holder or parent can do when they're logged in. Now, another thing that might be useful to know when dealing with corporate accounts pertains to someone contacting you asking for help with their account. If a subaccount of one of your corporate accounts, for example, contacts you directly looking for help, but you're not sure who the corporate parent account holder is, you can find out. To do that, go to MemberPress and Subscriptions, then click on the Non-Recurring tab here. And then here, you can search for them by using a name, username, or email. And here under Parent, you can see which corporate account they belong to. If you don't see the Parent column, go up here to Screen Options and make sure Parent's enabled. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to cover are the emails that go out with your corporate accounts. So I'll go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Emails tab. When you have the corporate accounts add on installed, you'll notice two new emails here for Subaccount Welcome and Sign Up Emails. This email, subaccount welcome email, is the email users will receive if the corporate account parent adds the user as a subaccount manually. You can click edit here next to both emails to edit what they say. You can see here the welcome email and it directs them to set up a new password. Subaccount signup email is the email that will be sent to users who sign themselves up using the signup URL we saw earlier. And you can see the email here. Again, you can edit what these say, but the default email has everything you need. If you do edit one of these emails, just be sure to click Update Options here at the bottom. And that's it. You've now seen an overview of the MemberPress Corporate Accounts add-on. See our knowledge base for further information on corporate accounts. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.